Yo, what's going on everybody? Peter back again narrating yet another Pokemon Wi-Fi 5th generation black battle. It's another rebel battle against Ryan. Um, he's going to lead with his Squish, the Galavantula, as I lead with Hyphigenie, because you know, that's what's up. And he's either going to predict a switch, or just forget that I'm flying and hope for an Oko. And I'm just going to, you know, go for a Stone Age, because like Pronus and Emil Genus and all that. And that's going to be an easy one-hit KO, and... Now I'm at a pretty good 6-5 advantage. He's going to go into the obviously Scarf Politube that, you know, just shows up every game it seems and goes for the Drizzle. And now I'm predicting the Water move, but he just goes for the Ice Beam, which is, you know, pretty obvious seeing as it is four times super effective. And my Junior Troll is just going to get demolished. Even though I do have Eviolate, I don't think the uh, crit mattered. So now I'm going to go into Flubber, and I'm going to predict a switch going for the Calm Mind. As he brings in Noodles, the Eviolite Tangela. Now he makes a good move and goes for the knockoff, knowing it's going to severely cripple my Flubber, because I do carry the Eviolite. And I'm just going to go for the Psychic, knowing I can get some good damage, because it is a physical wall. And now I'm going to predict him to switch out, because I think he's going to want to get his regen going. So I'm going to go for another Combine. So now I'm at plus two special attack, plus two special defense. As he brings in his Blissey 2.0, the Eviolite Mantike. And now he's going to go for a Scald as I go for a Psychic. And that does a good amount, but I realize that I can probably just recover off all the Scald damage and keep setting up with Calm Minds. And we get one or two more off, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to go for a Recover as he goes for a Scald. He's going to go for another Scald. I'm going to go for another Recover. I'm going to go for a Calm Mind. He's going to go for a Recover. He's going to go for a Scald. I'm going to go for a Recover. He's going to go for a Scald. Uh, he's going to go for another Scald. And then I'm going to clean him up with the Psychic. So, yeah, I finally get up to a decent amount of HP as he goes for the Scald. And now I'm just going to clean him up with the Psychic. Psychic, yo dumbass. Now he's going to go back into Politoed. I know, you know... Hydro Pump won't kill me. He misses like he always does, and I just go for a Psychic, which does, you know, a large chunk, but Politoed is especially, naturally especially defensive. So it's not going to kill, but I easily live the Hydro Pump in the Rain Stab and all that, and clean him up with the Psychic. Now he goes into his Conkledur, and I don't know what he was thinking here, but he goes for the Mock Punch, maybe thinking he was slower than me, which really isn't true, and I'm just going to go for a Psychic and easily get that Oko. Um, you know, plus three special attack and all that. And he probably could have just gone for any other move like a Drain Punch or Payback and cleaned me up. But no matter. He's going to go to Noodles, kill me off with the knockoff. Not even a big deal because Duotion swept like half his team. So now I'm going to go into his, uh, my Weasley. Go for the Fake Out. Uh, just trying to get damage, I guess. It doesn't do like anything because this is a physically defensive monster of a poke. That is Tangela. Now I'm going to go for a U-turn, either predicting a switch or just knowing that it's super effective damage. He's going to stay in and go for the Sleep Powder, which is a good move. As I go into Kanye West, I don't even know why I named him this. I guess, like, diamonds are forever or something. Whatever. So he goes for the Sleep Powder, and now he's going to go for the Leech Seed. And that sucks for me because I can't do anything, even with my priority prankster ability and all that. So now he's kind of just going to... Uh, clean me up with Giga Drain and Leech Seed because I don't have any special bulk. I'm running max physical bulk. And so, yeah, I think that's sleeping for like three turns now. He's just going to clean me up with the Giga Drain. I'm going to die, and that was kind of a waste of everything because I didn't do anything to him, and he just got like all his HP back. So now I'm going to go into Kajando, knowing he's going to want to stay in for the fake head. I'm just going to go for the high jump kick. And that does a large chunk because it's a crit. And he lives with 0 HP, so that's really cool, you know, I totally respect you, Tangela. But whatever, I know he's going to switch now because he wants to get his regen going, so I'm just going to go for the U-turn, get my switch advantage and all that. He goes into Bolt, does a good chunk to him, now I'm going to go back into my Hyphy Genie like an idiot, or just, you know, I'm hoping he doesn't have HP Ice, but he does, because, you know, every Manectric has HP Ice. And that's easily going to clean me up, and I'm not Scarfed or anything, so I can't, like, outspeed. So now I'm going to go back into Weasley, go for the fake out, but, you know, he predicts that and goes into Noodles to take it like a beast, and the fake out does, like, nothing, and now I'm just going to go for a high jump kick, either to kill him off or kill off Bolt as he switches in, and that's what he does, so I go for the high jump kick, clean him up easily, 
but now his last dude is Tangela and he has a pretty solid amount of HP uh, because of regen. I go for the high jump kick, it really doesn't kill him at all as he goes for a sleep powder, which is good play. I should have seen that coming and gone into Gyarados, my last guy, just a sleep powder, sleep fodder, excuse me. And uh, he's just gonna go for the leech seed and get his HP back and you know, this was looking kind of bad for me because he could kind of stall me out with Leech Seed and Sleep Powder and Giga Drain, but luckily I get like the second turn wake. Clean him with, up with the high jump kick. The crit might have mattered, I'm not really sure. Either way, you know, good game, Ryan. Kind of a close 2 0. And if you guys want to like this video, uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you around.